A network router is very similar to a wireless router, only in the sense that the wireless portion is not there. So when you're setting up a network router, generally you're going to have all of your um, Cat5 cables, which are the network cables, which are slightly larger than phone cables uh, that you would plug into a normal phone socket, uh, are going to be all ready to go from your computer to the router and then from your wireless or from your uh, DSL modem or cable modem into the router itself. And uh, the cable modem will go in, or the DSL modem will go into the WAN port. And then your computer, whether it be a laptop, desktop, doesn't matter, will go into the w wired portions of this. Uh, it's called the switching side of the router. And those are generally four ports or eight ports, depending on which model you buy. Eight ports are more expensive. Um, same as a wireless router, you, you will basically have a CD that comes with the router. And the CD you pop into your computer. It'll step you through how to set up the machine or the router itself. Uh, again, very foolproof, not really a lot of configuration that you'll need to know. Um, it'll probably ask you to change your password. That you, so it's very advisable to do that. So that way, somebody that comes over to your house visiting or or that uses your router won't have the ability to access it with, with a default password.